Professor Dr. Muhammad Akhtar Zaman, Honorable Vice Chancellor of the University of Dhaka and today's Chief Guest, Mr. Abdul Rof Talukdar, Honorable Governor of Bangladesh Bank and today's graduation speaker, respected faculty members of IBA, the Board of Governors of IBA, grad guardians, parents, alumni, professors and vice chancellors of other universities, respected guests, staff of IBA, electronic media, dear students, and the graduating class of BBA, MBA, EMBA, and DBA. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum, and a very good evening to you all. As the Honorable Vice Chancellor mentioned, today's attraction of the, was the speak, speech of the graduation speaker. So I am not also not going to prolong my speech. I will take his advice and just deliver some key points. Since it's a graduating class, and the graduating class now goes on to the real world and faces the world. Whatever they have learned in the universities, they are now going to test those. But it is a very difficult time globally. We have various economic issues worldwide. We have inflation, we have energy crisis, we have war, and so on and so forth. There is also technological disruptions coming. But difficult times are the times for opportunities, and that are the times for thinking out of the box, are the time to be resilient, to be well, all weatherproof, to be tough, and to be a fighter. And I believe IBA graduates are very well equipped to do so. Bangladesh has had tremendous amount of success since its inception. And we have great challenges and great, we have challenges and great prospects. We have hopes, we know that we have strengths to achieve what we want to achieve. This is an ever-expanding market. As a business graduate, you have to be an innovator. You have to give back to the society by way of creating jobs, by way of having economic emancipation for our country. This is what we expect from an IBA graduate. Why? Because we have seen over the years, IBA has got its own legacy. We have created over the years industry leaders, entrepreneurs, public and public private sector executives, public servants, politicians, and they have worked home and abroad and they have brought in good name for Bangladesh. So we have these days startups, successful startups, we have large corporates created by IBA graduates. So this is what we expect from IBA graduates. That is how IBA graduates should, should keep their mark and develop the, the nation and be an inspiration for others. See, at IBA, we always hear everywhere else that there has to be industry and academia engagement. But at IBA, it's an everyday business because we have either a guest speaker taking a class or guest faculty teaching a whole course, or there's a seminar, or there's a workshop, or there's a, some sort of a campus recruit. There's some sort of a competition. You must have seen all these boys and girls, they must have had so much of winning because we became tired of seeing their winning, so much of winning that they have had. So this is all happening at IBA on a daily basis. So that's how IBA graduates are so successful as an entrepreneur, as a business graduate, as an academician, and they are keeping their mark. So I believe this class of 2022 will be no different, but rather they will, they will excel more and they will have the IBA name high and high. You see, I don't think any graduation ceremony went by without having the graduation speaker 
or the chief guest talking about or reminding you of your responsibility. Today also you were reminded of your core values. You were reminded by the Honorable Vice Chancellor to be with the family, to give back to your society. And we always say that, you know, but we don't know what actually they have done. So at IBA we thought that we have the honor of having three freedom fighters who have been awarded the highest award by reward by our, uh, Podok by, our, uh, by our, the government, the People's Republic of Bangladesh. We have Bir Uttam, we have Bir Pratik, who, who contributed, who have gave away their lives and also fought the war of liberation and gave us the independence that we all are now enjoying. So we thought that why don't we have a Podok Banglai commemorating the success of one of our alums and also show our respect that is due to these freedom fighters. The family of Bir Uttam Khaza Nizamuddin Bhuya, who was a graduate of, of a student of our MBA Batch 3, contacted us and we decided at IBA to have a Podok in his name. It will be called Khaza Nizamuddin Bhuya Podok. We will be having a small AV after my, con uh, conclude my speech on Mr. Uh, Bir Uttam Khaza Nizamuddin Bhuya his life and his work and his freedom in struggle with his war, I mean his experience during the war of liberation. I urge this to the class of 2022 to take a vow that today we would like to, and I'm, I'm declaring here that we are going to have one such graduate who will be receiving a podok in the name of Khaza Nizamuddin Bhuya today in this podium, in this dais. It was carefully selected by a jury comprising of the director of IBA, two senior most professors of IBA, one family member of the Khaza Nizamuddin Bhuya, and the, the uh, president or the secretary of the alumni association, and an eminent citizen of the country. This year we had Mr. Nasiruddin Yusuf Bachu, who is himself a Bangladesh uh, Podok winner as the jury board member. And we had six nominations. And we had a tough time to select a, a winner. A winner has been selected. A winner will be awarded a Podok today in this occasion. What could be a better occasion than to commemorate this? the contribution of an IBA alum then a graduation ceremony where the graduating class can take a vow to come here this, on this stage one day to receive an award like that. That is what we are expecting from you. Do I hear a vow? Do I hear a promise from the graduating class? I didn't hear enough. It isn't what... Okay. That is what it should be. Okay. I don't want to extend my speech. Since I'm the last speaker, I would also like to thank, I mean, give the vote of thanks for, as a, as a, as a formality that is always uh, done in, in ceremonies like this. So first of all, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude and, and thank to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. Taruz Zaman, he has always been very enthusiastic in all activities of IBA and he has never said no to any of the occasions that IBA has wanted him to chair or to come and to be the chief guest. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, graduation speaker, our, our alum, Mr. Abdul Rof Talukdar. I spoke to him, I think, six months back regarding this event, because as you know, having this sort of e Venus is a long drawn thing, and we had only this day as a slot open, so I took his time, and he said, November is too far from, for me to confirm, but I will try my best. Thank you for keeping your word, and we are truly honored. Thank you, teachers, 
parents, guardians, for being here, for mentoring these boys and girls, and to be what they are. Thank you, staff, officers of IBA, for being what you have been. And I would like to say, if you go to NASA, it's a probably a very popular quote. A janitor was once asked, what do you do in NASA? He said, I send men to moon. I think each and every member of IBA family creates world-class world class managers. That is what we do. We are all indebted to all the staff, members, officers of IBA. The band from the answer for playing this beautiful national anthem of ours, members of the print and the electronic media, BICC officials, and finally, the student volunteers. Uh, this is a two-hour event, but preparation of which takes almost a month and a half. These boys and girls, Anaf and his team, they were with us each and every day, dealing with the finest details of this event to make it successful. Thank you so very much. I would like to finish my, my speech with only one request to our alums. I went to my daughter's graduation, Smith College, maybe a decade back. And there is a culture there that every year the graduation is organized by the, the class which has left the institution 10 years back. They are the host batch. So what, the, what happens this way, there is a continuous bondage between the alums and the institution. I hope the IBA Alumni Association members will keep that in mind and try to emulate a situation like this at IBA and be the host batch. Thank you very much for being here and I would like to now end my speech. Before that, I would request you to be here for a minute or two for us to see the AV on Shohid Khaza Nizamuddin Bhuya and the process through which we selected the today's winner of Shohit Khaza Nizamuddin Bhuya Podok and finally give away the Podok to the winner. Thank you very much for being patient with me. Thank you so very much. <laughs>